What is going on y'all? My name is Gravely and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create the best Hunter Lost Sector build in Destiny 2. Now the very first thing that you are going to need to do before you even think about putting together a build for Lost Sectors is just simply checking the Lost Sector. You guys have no idea how many times I've just forgot to check the Lost Sector and assumed the modifiers and I was completely wrong and I did not have a good time in these Lost Sectors. So the one I'm looking at right now is the K1 Crew Quarters and that's the one I'm going to be doing in this video. So as you guys can see, there are two types of champions in here. There are barrier and overload champions. Now pay attention to every single modifier, not just those. So there's also the hot knife modifier. So it's probably a good idea to bring a solar weapon since there are going to be solar shields. Also, notice how there is an arc damage burn. That means it would probably be a pretty good idea to bring at least one arc weapon into this lost sector as they are going to be dealing more damage. But what you also should keep in mind is that any enemy that is dealing arc damage is also going to be dealing bonus damage, so you need to be extremely careful of those enemies, especially the ones with snipers, as they can often one-shot you if you are running low resilience. I also want to say, try to be as aware of the destination modifiers as possible. In this case, they are bonus void damage and aerial damage taken, so that usually isn't going to be a huge effect on your Lost Sector run. However, if you jump in the air and get hit with something like an Arc Sniper, it'll probably kill you in this Lost Sector, so you do want to try to be careful of those. Anyways, now that we have taken a look at the Lost Sector modifiers, it is now time to make an actual build. The first thing that you are going to want to do is go down to your artifact and make sure that you have an overload mod, an anti-barrier mod, and an unstoppable mod. It really doesn't matter which ones you use, use whatever you prefer. Personally, I have overload bow, anti-barrier scout, unstoppable hand cannon, and I also do have the anti-barrier sniper rifle mod. Also, there are certain anti-champion mods that do work with certain abilities. You are free to use those if you want. However, I really don't use those as I don't find them too useful, but you are free to do whatever you would like. After you have acquired the mods that you would like to use, go over to your gauntlets and make sure they are slotted. I have done countless lost sectors where I just forgot to slot these mods and they're pretty hard to do without them. They are somewhat possible, but I would not recommend doing them. I will say, if you are going to use something like anti-barrier sniper rifle, it is good to have a masterwork pair of gauntlets. If not, try using something like a minor mod of whatever you're using so you can slot that mod. Also, for anyone using those mods that are tied to certain abilities, those are always going to be slotted on your class item, so make sure you have those slotted if you are using them. After you've equipped all of your mods, you are going to want to make sure that you have weapons that correspond with the mods that you are using. So for example, I am currently using Overload Bow and Anti-Barrier Sniper Rifle. So in my Kinetic slot, I am using the Deep Stone Crypt Sniper, the Succession. And then in my Energy slot, I am using the Arsenic Bite 4B. I do want to say that if you have a bow with explosive head, I would highly recommend using it as these bows are currently bugged at the moment and deal more damage than they are supposed to. For your heavy weapon, I would highly recommend running either Xenophage, Anarchy, or The Lament. Now, the thing with The Lament is this is just going to be your absolute speed demon option. If you want to just blow through these lost sectors as fast as possible, I would recommend The Lament. If you just want to get these Lost Sectors done safely, Xenophage or Anarchy is definitely the play. And if you don't have an exotic slot open for your Heavy, the Royal Entry Rocket Launcher is extremely good if you do have the God Roll, and then either the Sola Scar or the Falling Guillotine are both other great options. Now moving on to the exotic piece of armor that you are going to want to use, I would highly recommend running the Assassin's Cowl. Now, if you are running a Stasis subclass, I do want to point out this does still work with the finisher. However, your powered melees won't give you the invisibility and health regen, but this Assassin's Cowl is an extremely good exotic. A lot of people just kind of overlook it, but literally just finishing one enemy gives you pretty much your entire health bar back and you get invisibility for up to 15 seconds, depending on how powerful the enemy is. 
You can also run Celestial Nighthawk if you are running Bottom Tree Golden Gun, as it does have the capability of one-shotting any champion and dealing a massive amount of damage to the boss. Now when it comes to the subclass, you are pretty much free to use whatever you would like. Personally, I prefer using Revenant Hunter over pretty much anything else, as it does have a lot of utility against champions, but there are other great options. Like I mentioned before, Bottom Tree Gunslinger with Celestial Nighthawk is never going to be a bad option. Even Bottom Tree Night Stalker with Orpheus Rigs are good, and even Top Tree Arc Strider is pretty good since you do have Assassin's Cal and you are going to be getting that invisibility. But anyways, now that we have put together a Lost Sector build, I am now going to run through the Moon Lost Sector I was talking about earlier, and you guys can see what types of strategies that I use.
as you guys just saw, when I completed that Lost Sector, I did get a Gwiz Invest. There's the role for anybody that's curious. But anyways, that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy it, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like as well as a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you really enjoyed this video and would like to see more from my channel, make sure you subscribe. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.